treatment of acute appendicitis. Nearly the only treatment for acute appendicitis is urgent appendicectomy. It is called the appendicectomy, or nowadays it is also called appendectomy, which is urgent excision of the inflamed appendix. And this should be done in all cases unless contraindicated. What are the contraindications? The contraindication who is a crazy surgeon who wanted to do appendicectomy or appendectomy in these patients with the tissues friable, dense adhesions, and the operation is very, very difficult with the ability of injury of surround structure. Sure contraindication of appendicectomy or appendectomy is appendicular mass and appendicular abscess. Except this, all cases for urgent appendectomy or appendicectomy, especially should be done very urgent in children and the elderly, pregnant female or diabetic patient because these patients are liable for early perforation, early protomitis, and the early complications. Uh, there are two techniques for uh, appendicectomy or appendectomy. Laparoscopic technique and open surgery. And nowadays, as a routine, in all GIT surgery, nearly laparoscopic technique replace open surgery. Therefore, as a routine, laparoscopic appendicectomy or appendectomy, nowadays replacing open appendicectomy because laparoscopic technique allow exploration of whole peritoneal cavity with exclusion of all causes of acute abdomen. And the laparoscopic technique is very easy with less morbidity, less pain, less hospital stay with faster recovery. Therefore, the most popular nowadays is laparoscopic appendicectomy or appendectomy. If not available, open surgery, open appendectomy is available. Um, what is the management for this condition? Appendicular mass. What is the treatment? Appendicectomy is contraindicated. What is the treatment? Treatment is essentially conserved treatment. And by conserved treatment within few weeks in about 80 to 90 percent of patient the mass disappear and the patient become cured. After complete cure of appendicular mass, interval appendicectomy can be done after three months. Therefore, for appendicular mass, conservative treatment followed by resolution is the uh, end result and after three months interval appendicectomy or appendectomy. The conserved treatment here is called the ochner sherens regimen. Um, ochner sherens these uh, two surgeons discover and uh, describe this treatment which aiming of complete cure of the mess within few weeks, followed by discharging of the patient, and the patient return to the surgical ward after uh, three months for interval appendicectomy. This regimen uh, consists of 
reinvent in the first few days and rest of the patient in bed physically with rest of the GIT why rest of the GIT as we mentioned in gastric diseases and in uh, peptic ulcer and the perforated peptic ulcer etc uh, in any acute condition in the abdomen any acute abdomen especially acute condition in the GIT this is not the time for eating for the Arabic student the مش وقت أكل يا طفس GIT تعبان عايزين نريح وخالص this is uh, can be we can think about symptoms anorexia this is a normal reflex to hate food giving rest for the GIT to avoid eating and nausea and vomiting to evacuate the content of the GIT and you sure know that nausea and vomiting is due to reflex by lorospasm in any acute abdomen especially in acute condition in the GIT like acute perforated peptic ulcer, cholecystitis, uh, pancreatitis, appendicitis, etc. Um, therefore, we need to rest the GIT. Therefore, rail tube and gastric suction to evacuate the GIT. Nothing is taken orally, and the nutrition is intravenous fluid until anorexia and nausea disappear this means that the patient is actually cured then we start gradually oral feeding by fluid then semi solids and finally solids sure we should fight and destroy the microorganism how to fight and destroy microorganism sure by antibiotics combination of ampicillin with amino glucosides and flagyl cover most pathogenic microorganism this combination is given first intravenous because early there is nausea and vomiting the patient will vomit the antibiotic Therefore, first given in this uh, combination is given intravenous followed by oral antibiotic when the patient restore oral feeding. For the pain, for the pain, the general rule never give analgesics before sure diagnosis of acute appendicitis. Because if you give analgesics, we will mask the pain. The pain may disappear. And the inflammation progress to perforation with late diagnosis, with complication. And this is very bad system. The correct system is after sure diagnosis of acute appendicitis you can give analgesics for pain relief um, then close observation to uh, observe the result of the conserved treatment temperature birth blood pressure severity of pain tenderness severity of rigidity uh, vomiting size of the mass Sure, uh, nearly in all cases, the temperature will be drop to the normal, pulse return to the normal, the pain disappear, no tenderness or rigidity, vomiting, anorexia, nausea relieved, the size of the mass is decreasing until complete recovery, then discharge the patient for delayed appendectomy after three weeks. For appendicular abscess 
What is the treatment as usual, as any abscess in our curriculum? The only treatment of uh, abscess is drainage. Followed by treatment of the cause of the abscess. Interval appendectomy after three to six months. How to drain this abscess first? Before appendectomy. The usual treatment is interventional radiology under ultrasonic control. Ultrasonic guided. We enter from the skin with suction and the aspiration of all bus. Then put a castor drain and this technique saves the patient from the trouble of anesthesia or surgery. If this not available, open surgery should be done. What is open surgery? If the abscess in the right iliac fossa through iliac incision and the extra peritoneal drainage, there is a golden rule here for any intra abdominal abscess. The drainage of any intra abdominal abscess should be extra peritoneal. Never open the peritoneal cavity. Then open the abscess. This will disseminate infection leading to generalized septic peritonitis. Therefore, extra peritoneal approach. Then, after complete opening of the reculi and the complete evacuation of the contents and drainage of bus, put a rubber drain for a few days. The abscess frequently may be pelvic abscess, pointing through the rectum or the vagina. Therefore, it is uh, incised and opened through the rectum or through the vaginal wall. Um, treatment of peritonitis. If there is perforation and peritonitis occur, sure, urgent, laparoscopic or open, appendectomy or appendectomy, followed by as any peritoneal soiling. <laughs> What is this? Both saline in the abdomen and the suction. Saline in the abdomen and the suction, which is called peritoneal toilet, to clean the peritoneal cavity. And as any peritoneal co uh, contamination, close the abdomen around three drains. And we sure uh, know from perforated peptic ulcer, as we take before, the site of the three drains. One in the wound, one in the site of the contamination, in the site of the appendix, in the right iliac fossa, one in the most dependent area of the peritoneum during setting, which is pelvic drain, come from the suprapubic region in the recto basical pouch. And one drain in the most dependent area of the peritoneum during lying flat, which is, which is the reflection of peritoneum from the liver to the right kidney, which is called the hepato-renal pouch. Finally, treatment of this condition. Very rarely, bilateral bites, portal bioemia. Sure, the cause of the problem should be urgently removed. Immediate appendectomy with closure of the way to the liver, closure of the way of septic emboli to the liver by ligation of ileocolic vein. Um, finally, there is uh, a small uh, point should be uh, mentioned. Uh, we mentioned in the complication in uh, non-obstructive appendicitis. The condition may be uh, relieved spontaneously. If uh, 
appendicitis is correctly diagnosed and correctly treated by appendicectomy this is good but if the condition resolves spontaneously by antibiotic some doctors for emergency for students for exams give the antibiotic the condition becomes recurrent subacute appendicitis and this is actually bad management of acute appendicitis because the inflammation is not completely relieved and there is recurrent acute attacks of pain in the right iliac fossa with vague dyspepsia and the condition is difficult to be diagnosed later on and should be differentiated from other causes of pain in the lower right quadrant which may be amoebic colitis irritable bowel syndrome chronic cholecystitis chronic regional ileitis if uh, you should diagnose subacute uh, appendicitis the only treatment is laparoscopic appendicectomy this is the treatment of uh, appendicitis thank you for good listening and good luck